What is going on everybody? Welcome back to The Common Coder. My name is Josh and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to download and install Visual Studio Code for Mac and for Windows. So we're going to be using Visual Studio Code pretty much exclusively for the videos that are on this channel. So I figured I would put something together to show you where to get it, uh, how to install it, and how to get it set up on your machine. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> All right, so the very first thing that we want to do to download Visual Studio Code is go to code.visualstudio.com, and this will take you to the Microsoft page for Visual Studio Code. So there's a bunch of information here, uh, but again, basically what we're looking for is to download Visual Studio Code. Microsoft makes it very easy for you to download, so they put a big download button right here on the main page, and it will try to guess based off of your machine architecture which version uh, that you need to download. So in this case, it's guessing correctly. I have an M2 based MacBook Air. So the download button here reflects that and it says download Mac for Universal. So this would work for both Intel based Macs and uh, Apple Silicon based Macs. But if for whatever reason this isn't showing the right version, you can always click this little down arrow and you can see that here is the Mac OS Universal. If I was on Windows, it also shows the Windows X64. So these would be like your Intel chips or your AMD chips, um, basically anything that's not an ARM based processor, that's gonna be your standard Windows processors. If you happen to be running on Linux, there's even an option for Linux here. But you can see there's download links here. Um, there's the insiders version, which basically gives you access, uh, early access to beta features. But if you don't see what you're looking for in this list, you can always click on other downloads and this will take you to the download section, which is actually at the very bottom of this page. So you can see here is Windows 11. Here's the user installer. If you're running um, an X64 based processor, your typical traditional Intel or AMD based chips, it's going to be over here with the X64. So if you're running one of the newer ARM based Windows machines, so it's gonna be your, your laptops and things like that that have ARM based chips, uh, you have those options as well. Same thing for Linux. There's a bunch of different options here in Linux. And again, same thing for Mac. We have either Intel chips, Apple-based silicon, or Universal. So in this case, we're gonna do uh, Universal. All right, so again, jumping back up to the top of the page, I'm gonna go ahead and just click the button because that's gonna be the easiest way to do this. And it's gonna tell me, thank you for downloading Visual Studio Code for Mac. It's going to go ahead and download it here up at the top. And when that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. It's going to expand that. So once I've extracted the zip, you can see that it puts the Visual Studio Code application right here in my downloads folder. And basically there's no installer for this. The only thing that we need to do is take the application and then drag it over into our applications folder. And pretty much we're done after that. We can go ahead and click applications, find Visual Studio Code inside of our applications, which is right down here and double click it to open it. And you can see that I am presented with this welcome screen. It's asking me to choose my theme. So I'm gonna click on dark modern, click next. It's gonna ask me to browse recommend ex extensions. Don't need any of those for now. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip that. Built-in terminal, so I can quickly run shell commands and monitor build output right next to your code. There's a keyboard shortcut for that. We'll cover uh, keyboard shortcuts in another video. Install in Git. Again, we're gonna go ahead and cover that in another video as well and then keyboard shortcuts, also something we're gonna cover in another video. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click these and click Mark Done. All right, and here we go. So I'm set up with Visual Studio Code right here on my Mac. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and jump over to the Windows side of things and install Visual Studio Code for Windows 11. So similarly, if I go to code.visualstudio.com, you will see that I'm presented with this homepage uh, and the button has been updated to reflect the machine that I'm on. So you can see this is download for Windows. Same thing, if this isn't showing the proper machine, you can always click this little down button right here and you can see the various installations uh, that you can download. But what I want is the download for Windows. So go ahead and click on this. It says, thanks for downloading Visual Studio Code for Windows. I'm gonna go ahead and click on what it downloaded. So it says VS Code User Setup, click on that. Now I'm running this in a virtual machine, which is ARM based. So it's giving me the uh, ARM option. Depending on your machine, you might have <clears throat> the X64 or the ARM, just depends on uh, what Windows machine that you're running. All right, and you can see that once I've launched the installer, it presents me with uh, the installation wizard. So I have to accept the agreement. Go ahead and click next. Ask me where I want to install the program. I'm gonna go ahead and accept the defaults and click next again. Ask me if I want to create a start menu folder. Uh, in this case I do. So let's go ahead and click next. 
And then it's asking me a couple different options here. So it's asking me if I want to create a desktop icon. So I want to go ahead and do that. And then add the open with code action to Windows File Explorer and to the directory context menu. So I want both of these. This basically lets me click uh, anywhere inside of the Windows Explorer. I'm gonna go ahead and click those. Uh, you don't have to. It also registers code as an editor for supported file types. So any common file types like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, it'll basically assign those to Visual Studio Code as the default editor. And then it's going to add uh, the code command to the path. And we'll actually talk about that uh, in another video. So I'm gonna go ahead and click next, double check everything looks good and click install. So once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this box checked that says launch Visual Studio Code, and I'm gonna go ahead and click finish. And once we've done that, it's going to open up Visual Studio Code. We're going to get that same welcome screen that we saw on the Mac installation. So you can choose your theme. Go ahead and click next section. And then if you're looking at extensions, like I said, we'll cover extensions probably in another video. We're gonna cover the terminal, get and shortcuts uh, in another video. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just click mark done. And now we have Visual Studio Code installed on our Windows 11 machine here. All right, well, that's gonna go ahead and conclude our installation of Visual Studio Code on Mac and PC. Thank you so much for coding along with me today. If you like this video, please give me a like down below. And if you're new here, please subscribe. We're gonna be learning a whole lot more about web development, and I would love to have you along for this journey. I hope you learned something today, and at the very least, I hope you were mildly entertained. So until next time, be sure to stay curious, never stop learning, and I will see you all in the next video.